Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this, I'm gonna be showing you how to use serverless functions with Django. You're gonna be using the example of uploading your brain to the cloud as an example of a long running function, which presumably would be long running. So there'll be four steps. We'll set up Django, then we'll create our Django app, create our serverless function, and then connect them together. And we'll do it in roughly under eight minutes. We've got Python here, created a virtual environment. Let's just set up our Django app. I'll copy this in, pip. Install Django, install requests, and then create the copy this in to create our app, our project, and our app. And there they are, core and sim. That's our app. Core, you can call that app whatever you want. I've just gone for sim. Now we're going to add app into our settings. So go to installed apps and sim. So just add that in here, sim. And then we also want to upload our up, update our loud hosts here. And we'll just copy that in, copy that over the top. Section two, we're going, to, we're going to add our views. So if we go to sim and then views and copy this in. So we'll create our URLs file here, Python in sim urls.py, copy this in into our URLs. And then we're going to update our main URLs in core, copy this in. And now we're going to add our models. So we're going to sim and models.py, copy in this. So this will hold our task, which is going to be the task to upload our mind state. Run our migrations in your terminal. Yeah. And you see we've created that now and created a database, which you should see pop up there. And now we're going to add our templates. There's some links here if you're interested about HTMX, which we're going to be using and is really simple to use, really easy. Those are some other tutorials done, all are free, as you'd expect. We'll create a templates folder in Sim, templates, and then create an HTML file, which we're going to render and show the user called dashboard. Copy it in, in it goes. And then we can run our server to check what we've got so far. And then we click here. And that's what we would expect and go to dashboard. Great. Looks good. Django server is running. Section three, let's add our serverless function. So we're going to install SAM, which is the serverless application model. We need to install it so we can run serverless functions locally. So create another terminal window and then run these. That's installed. Now let's initialize our SAM project, SAM init, and then yes, AWS quick start. Hello world example, yes, no, no, that's fine. But you should see it pop up here, Sam app, there we are. Events folder here, which is a sample event that we feed to our serverless function. And then our serverless function sits in here. Now let's update our serverless function. I'm gonna change it to a post. Oh. Copy it in, there we go. Make sure you're in the Sam app folder when you do this and then Sam build. There you go, build succeeded. And then we're going to run it locally, Sam invoke. Great. Sam local invoke means run it locally. If you get this, make sure you install Docker. Docker is heavy, but it is really worth it. Now on 3.5, we're going to actually edit our Lambda function to do what we need to do. So go into the hello world and then app.py in Sam app and just copy and paste this. And the way that this will work is that we will receive some data from Django here in the event. We get out the task ID. We're then simulating a long running function with this. And then we send the response back to our Django view here at save results. So section four, we're going to connect our service function with our Django app. So go to the sim and views.py and then copy this in. Now we'll actually call that view with our service function. So to do that locally, we're going to add some sample data here into our events.json, replace all this with that simple build and this will call our serverless function with the particular event here in events and then event json which is then has this body so let's call that a few seconds to run great and that's what we want because as you can see here because the task doesn't exist yet what's happened is we've sent this event to our app here the sample event and then it, it took a while because it was waiting three seconds and because uh, we're simulating that long running function and then it sends it back to our views here so it comes in here to save results the api key is fine I've taken that task id which is one for us there's nothing in the database with one because we haven't created yet it's just using mock data and then it said it doesn't exist and then return status doesn't exist so all good now let's actually make it exist 
So let's go to update our front end. So let's copy that into your dashboard.html in Sims here. And then we can do a full run. So let's go and we've already got our Django server here, but let's run it again. We're going to go in our SAM app, make sure you're in it, run the local start API. This essentially sets up an API gateway, an endpoint that we can then communicate and our Django server can communicate with. And it's running here on that endpoint. And now if we go to our dashboard and now let's enter in person. Great, it's pending. And then a few seconds are passing, simulating, and then it's done. And as you can see, it's pulling every second here to walk you through that. Our HTMX every second here is every second is going to the dashboard and then it's going here and then getting all the task results and then reloading the the rendering that HTML, coming it back, and then using HS Select just to update the task status only. So just just this, just so just swapping in only that fragment of the HTML. Re calling this to state our time. So now this, as you can see the clock moving and then rendering all of our database objects and then giving the correct styling. So let's add a few more, as you can see, like Bill, Ami, Amil, and you can add as many as you want. And you can see that what's happening there is when we, so we click, we click for Rogbert, Robert, let's say. And then as soon as we click, that then sends his name here using HTMX to our view here to process the task. It creates that task result in the database for Robert or Anil or whoever, then sends that the task ID to our serverless function. So that goes to here into our serverless function. And you see we're sending the task ID in JSON. So that comes in here. Then we load that. We simulate that long line function, such as uploading our brains. Then it says, once that's done, it then, our, our server, our Django server continues to run, but then this serverless function running separately, then once that's done, then sends the message back to our Django server here, save the result, and then sends that. It checks that the authorization is correct. It's got the same secret key. It loads the JSON from the body, gets out the task ID, sees that it's received that, so received task one, and then using that task ID, gets the database object, says, okay, it's completed. The marks adds the result data, which actually we're not using, so we could probably delete that. And then saves it and then returns success. Service functions are really useful. They are fast. They're so much easier to debug than background workers where a lot of things are happening in a very opaque way. So thanks for watching and check out the other Django tutorials that I'm making now and going forward.